Hello and welcome. My name is Frank Almonte, and today I'm going to explain how to create a business presentation with SAP Bilomira. The objective of this video is to highlight the best practices to follow and not necessarily to teach you how to use the product. For that, we have separate videos on the learning section of SAPLumira.com. Setting up a business presentation with Lumira does not require a specific analytics, design, or storytelling skills. It is accessible to all business users familiar with PowerPoint, Prezi, or any other presentation tool. All you need is a clear purpose for your presentation and a data set from an Excel spreadsheet, CSV file, or any other database relevant for your purpose. The example we're going to see is based on an Excel spreadsheet available for download on SAPLumira.com. For this presentation, we will focus on three sections. First, a business overview, highlighting the actual status of the business, a review by category, by team, stores, and product, and finally, a recommendation based on the insights uncovered. Let's get started. When thinking about your presentation, always add context. Use a title or a headline to show what is going to be discussed during the presentation. You can customize your introduction slides with your logo, corporate colors, or a visual element related to the topic. For example, a picture or an illustration. But remember to stay sober and keep in mind that less is always more effective. At the beginning, start with the most important facts. Give the viewers the level of information they need. This is for you the occasion to grab your audience's attention. For example, you can highlight key alphanumeric visualizations as KPIs to show trends and compare numbers. You can combine this with a graph to display the evolution of your metrics over time with reference lines to help the audience better notice trends. To report on a global business, geomaps are a good starting point, especially if you have representative from different locations. The color information provides insights about the sales revenue. At all times, I can move over a single point and display the key facts related to it. Also, provide a clear message in your title, explaining clearly what your chart implies. To make sure the audience gets the message, you should guide them through your story. In our case, the story has three sections, team, shop, and product review. I have chosen to highlight the best performer by sales revenue in each category in a tech cloud. This will help to catch the interest of the audience and provide some early answers. So in case you want to go into more detailed information, I can just click on the corresponding data. Let's follow up with the team review. When presenting your graph, clearly highlight what you want to emphasize. Here, we evaluate the performance for revenue generation and customer satisfaction. To put the results into perspective, we compare them with the previous year. As you can see, in Lumira, you can easily customize your charts to eliminate clutter, add colors to highlight a critical topic, and add text to support your visuals so your audience knows where to look first. On the next section, we're going to review the performance by shops. On this slide, I'm using a radar chart showing our top 30 cities by revenue. The aim of this visualization is to display the gap between the performance at the top and those at the bottom of the ranking. To make it more impactful, I have added two tables showing the top and bottom 10 performers. I have also added a comment explaining the low performances as well as a potential call to action. Adding comments is relevant when you want to send out the PDF file of your presentation. It will allow people that were not part of the meeting to understand your points. Now let's move into the product review. Choosing the right visualization is crucial when telling your story. So make sure that each of your visualizations support your main purpose. To put this into practice, I use a trim map to display the relationship between the revenue generated and the product lines. And on the chart below, I created a calculate measure to identify which product line generated the highest margin ratio and highlighted in a bold color to make it prominent. My recommendation when using color is to start graying out everything. Then decide the story you want to tell and highlight with one color the element that you want to stand out. Another important point to take into consideration is the use of interactive visualizations. 
it will help some individuals in the audience to see what is meaningful for them. To do so, you can leverage input controls on the left of the screen. This will allow you to show different aspects of the information and explore the data. The final step of your presentation should be recommendations or call to action. In our story, I presented facts to justify that our business is growing. To support that growth, I could recommend the audience to invest in key areas. The purpose of visualizing your data is to provide insights. By telling your audience the story behind your data, you encourage them to take actions. So at the end of your meeting, everyone should leave the room with a clear understanding of the situation and knowing what to do next. However, make sure there are not too many recommendations because only two or three of them will be remembered by the audience. Building such a presentation does not require advanced user skills. We only perform drag and drop actions and some formatting. With a little bit of practice, you will be able to do the same. This is all for now. I hope you have enjoyed this demo. Thank you very much and goodbye.